Katie, remember when I went to Tenerife without you? Yeah, I'm still upset I couldn't go. I've heard it's absolutely beautiful. Well, I've just finished making an eight-part 360 series so I can give you a virtual tour of the island. Really? That's brilliant. Come on then, strap your headset on and let's go. Hey Katie, welcome back to Tenerife. Thanks, lovely to be here. You're in a town called La Oritaba. Oh. Yeah, it's a historical old town in Tenerife. And uh, it's the highest town in the uh, on the island as well, which is kind of cool. Yeah. It's very close to Mount Teide. The volcano, lovely. Glad to know I haven't managed to escape the potential danger of the volcano yet. No, no, it's always there in Tenerife for sure. Looming. So yeah. <laughs> this is beautiful. Wow, look at this. It's nice to be uh, in a town this time and not, not in nature. We saw a lot of nature the last couple of weeks. Go oh, ahead. there's some nature for you anyway. Oh, yeah, a little park. It's a lovely part of this. And this is the, uh, the town palace, which holds several events. Town palace? A bit fancy. Have all towns got a palace? No. Well, it's quite nice, actually. It's lovely. Yeah. Yeah. The trees are really nice out here and the flowers as well. Oh, oh, we're inside. Yeah, we're inside. What was funny about this was um, I wasn't allowed to film inside. So if you turn around, you can actually see me being told off by oh, yeah, the cleaner naughty, naughty. and having to <laughs> stop the recording a little bit earlier than I wanted to. But you just love breaking the law to get these videos, don't you? You know, you got to do what you got to do. <laughs> so yeah, it's it was Christmas time because I went there in January or Three Kings time in Spain, oh, yeah. and so uh, yeah, there was a lot of decoration still. Like lining around, but I thought this was uh, like interesting to get a feel for the town here. Just... Yeah, and just that mountain in the background, just looking to the right. I was a bit taken aback by that. I mean, what a view. It was oh, a good view, God. yeah. So this uh, nativity, nativity scene, yeah, and there's a kid. <laughs> Chasing that car around. Yeah, that was kind of uh, <laughs> cool. So, um, oh boy, fetch. <laughs> yeah, this nativity scene was absolutely huge. I couldn't believe how large it was. I did not know so many people were present. Oh, and cheese. Did not know cheese was present at the birth of Jesus. Apparently it was. I mean, we're doing our no dairy diet for this month. So, yeah, oh, no cheese it's, for us. <laughs> it's tempting. I could literally eat a whole wheel right now. <laughs> of plastic fake cheese. <laughs> it's the best kind. Yeah, this is a huge nativity scene. Yeah, so if you look now, that is the house of the balconies. Uh, with the decoration on so that's really that was made by carpenters and it's really intricately designed the wood patterns on it are it's beautiful yeah very uh, very ornate it's very ornate yeah and was... I'm pleased to see some Christmas lights actually turned on yeah <laughs> so yeah now we're in a park after we've left the 17th century uh, house of the balconies and we're uh, this this part was quite close by if you look at those trees in front they are quite unusual. They're very unusual, yeah. They're only on the Canary Islands. They're called dragon trees. Dragon trees? Oh, look at that. Yeah, now I'm assuming yeah. these two are different species. Obviously, I don't know a lot about trees or species. I don't know. But from what I've researched, yeah, they're called dragon trees. They're only on the Canary Islands. And they were everywhere. And they were so cool to look at. They look so African. Yeah. Wow. I mean... I've not seen an African dragon before, but I'm now very curious. This is a, it's a very beautiful town. I'm really, I'm really enjoying the colourful buildings. Well, now we're outside uh, the church, which is called the Church of Our Lady of Conception, which I found amusing just generally. And I'm kind of going to give you a tour of like the different sides of the building. because yeah, it's quite big. It was a really big church, yeah. What's quite interesting about it was that during one of the volcano eruptions, it caused an earthquake that basically destroyed the entire building. So, yeah. So it was rebuilt in 1767, according to my notes. So, so yeah. it's still very old, even if we're just thinking about it from when it's been rebuilt. That's, uh, that's still pretty old. It's, uh, it's beautiful. It's very interesting not having too much exposed brick on the outside. You know, these painted sides. It's a bit of yeah. a different style to what I'm used to seeing in Spain. Well, it's Baroque style. And, oh, Baroque. Uh, Baroque, yeah. Not The Rock. It's oh. a different thing. It's not Dwayne Johnson. It's Baroque. Baroque. Yeah, which is a specific style. I don't really know too much about it. But yeah, it's supposed to be a very fine example of Baroque. Oh, the I finest think... in the Canary Islands. Well, I think I've seen Baroque stuff in Prague before, but again, not an expert. 
Um, oh, I love that purple dome up there. Oh, very lovely. Yeah, more of this colourful, warm yellow colour. This looks quite um, Moorish, the decoration on this building, actually. Does it? Oh, I'm yeah. not sure the Moors were here, but if you look to the right at the very far end of the road, there's the church again. I just thought oh, I'd yeah, yeah. show you it in the distance, yeah, in the, the spire distance. there. And um, now we're standing in front of another church. Different church, okay. Different church, so many churches, it's Spain. Uh, Santo Domingo, mm -hmm. this church. And uh, behind you, you've got these, and these were everywhere in, in this town, or Otava. These houses that kind of said, you know, this artist lived here between these years, because it was very famous for artists. And well, I mean, you're not short of inspiration on this island, I have to say. No, and that's Laura Otaba. This is the final shot. So please like the video if you enjoyed it and uh, join us next week where we explore more of Tenerife. I can't wait. See you then. Are you looking for a new challenge or a new way to use your headset? Why not start learning Spanish in a virtual environment? With excellent instruction from the talented teacher Jen, we'll get you speaking Spanish in no time. You'll use your new language skills out and about with virtual amigos from around the world. Our three-hour virtual reality course is supported by additional learning materials in the real world. And this is all available free at morningcomproductions.com forward slash dynamic. Las Fias 360 is a documentary available in English, Spanish and Valenciano. Explore this unique Valencian festival and watch as the 600 year old tradition culminates in a flurry of flames and explosions. Available now on our channels.